Hi Mark, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson today. So I was super impressed with the backswings. The first time I've seen your trace line move almost linear, uh, but mainly the fact that it's actually um, moving into your right heel. So that was terrific. If we just blow that body track pressure mat up at the top and run through your swing, we'll see here as you take the club away, you can see here that your mass is moving to the right. And when you actually get to the halfway back there we've got 196 percent of your pressure on your right side which i think is fantastic but also into your right heel lots of your weight and we get to the very top of your swing i mean that's fantastic there you've got so much of your weight on your right side which i'm very happy with and into your right heel which is where really where we've been looking for for a long time when you started down here for instance you can see as you started down this particular one here I feel your weight has maybe moved left that just a fraction too early. I'd like to see your weight stay a bit more on your right heel or right foot. But for me, this right shoulder is, is rotating uh, too much, which is causing your shaft to just come down a little bit too steep. We can see that evidently there is cutting through that left shoulder. If we look at Tommy Fleetwood at the top there, apart from he's got different hair to you, you'll see when he comes down, look at that first move. I feel his weight is going a bit more into this right foot coming down. He's getting that diagonal pressure into his left heel, but that's encouraging, encouraging that shaft to flatten. Uh, and that right shoulder is still back where yours is moving over and out. So when we give you the feeling of holding that right shoulder back straight away, you manage to shallow the shaft like Tommy at that state, same stage there. Because of this swing here on the on the left, and obviously, like I said, the you've expelled your weight too quickly to your left side we can see coming down your 64 percent and now you can see as you're coming into impact your your more weight is moving back onto your right foot so we can see we know at the top of the swing it was 93 percent pressure in the right side we want an impact 80 percent in the left side and we can see you've only got 57 so you're just backing up where you've spent that weight too quickly left and I feel that's where you're trying to open the chest too early in the swing that's causing these arms to swing left and it's a bit of a, a swipe left and holding the face off as we can see up here there's loft on the club face so if you look at Tommy at this stage here coming down you're going to see that he's going to send his arms a bit more down the right if we really focus on that right hand there you'll see that that butt of the club goes up so if we draw a line on his shaft not perfect. There we go. On his shaft there, when he makes contact, you can see that shaft is now going just slightly above that. And that shows that the, the butt of the club is riding up as he turns that right or left hand over. So he's trying to get the club face to rotate to the max as the butt of the club goes up. So two things really is hold the right shoulder back. That keeps the weight a bit more on the right side and in sync. And then from there, it's really feeling that you hit out to the right while rotating the hands. We've got to get the hands releasing, Mark. That's power for you. Uh, and obviously, you sending it out to the right and actually doing that proper release gives you that lovely compression that you're looking for. But tremendous work on trace. You know, really happy with the, how the weight moves to the top. Backswing looks absolutely terrific. We can see that their takeaway is good. Club to the top is fantastic, like I just said. Uh, we just hold the right shoulder back that gets the, the shaft shallow in and then do that downward release out to the right and uh, all's fantastic. Well done, Mark.